Hey, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little cinnamon roll. To start off today, come to just below the center of your page and draw out a small circle. Now draw a small curve inside this circle about halfway for a little tongue and shade in above it. You can draw out an oval on the right side of this circle for your cinnamon roll's first eye. Make it nice and big and then draw a small curved line along the bottom, a large heart near the top, and a small dot just beneath that. Then go ahead and shade in all around these highlights. Next, we'll create some eyelashes by coming to the top of the eye and tracing a curve that's coming just a little bit higher and sweeping out to the right, and then adding one more little flick for a second eyelash. Her left eye is going to be closed, so to do that, I'm just going to draw a shallow U shape just about in line with the top of the mouth. Starting under her open eye, I'm going to draw in a cheek by just drawing a curved line from the inside edge all the way towards the outside edge, and then drawing a full oval shape underneath her closed eye. The next step is to draw in the bottom of the cinnamon roll by just drawing a straight line that goes underneath the cheeks. You want the ends of your lines to go past the outside edges of her face. Then you can start to draw a line upwards, making it slightly curved towards the outside edge of your page, and then coming towards the center and top of your page. I've stopped just about in line with the top of her open eye. To create the icing, I'm going to start drawing some nice loopy lines or wavy lines all the way across the top of her face and closing off those two open lines. I'm keeping this above her open eye and then I'm going to add just a little eyebrow because I've left a little bit of space. I'm going to add in another layer of icing. So first I'm just going to draw some small curved lines that are coming towards the top of my page. This is just to sort of create the side edge of this first layer of icing. Then to draw in the second layer of icing, I'm going to come and connect a line to the top of my first wavy line and I'm going to draw a second one all the way across closing it on the other side. You're going to want to keep bringing up a small curved line that's just slowly starting to round towards the top center of your page and then closing it off once again with a nice wavy line. So for my cinnamon bun I'm just going to do these two layers of drippy icing and now I'm going to do the top layer. So I'm going to start off by just drawing a small little curve on the right side here and I'm going to start to spiral it inwards towards the center. So it's still open on the left side, but we'll close that off after. And I'm just going to keep spiraling so that I have this nice little swirl at the top. And then you can close off the left side. Now let's add in some cute little feet by coming underneath the cinnamon bun and just drawing out two little lines, I'm making them come out just about underneath her cheeks and adding little circles for feet. I'm going to draw in her left arm by just creating a little downwards curve and adding a small circle for the hand. Now to add the fun and whimsy, I'm going to come onto the right side and leaving a small space between the cinnamon bun, I'm going to draw a straight line from top to bottom of my page. And then I'm going to draw a second line so it looks like I'm about to draw a rectangle close off the bottom, and then come to the open top and draw a curve or a U shape to close it off. From one side of this U, you can start to create a little loop that comes back towards the center of the U and do the same thing on the other side. And so we've just made our cute little cinnamon stick. So I'm gonna give him a little face, two little eyes, and just a nice big smile. Now let's draw in the arms and legs, first with the right arm and the two legs, adding circles for feet. And then for your cinnamon stick's second arm, have a little line extending towards the cinnamon bun. Then you can draw out her arm coming towards her little friend. Draw a circle for her hand 
and then you can add in your cinnamon sticks hand so it looks like they're connected. I'm going to add in one more friend, so coming to the left side of the cinnamon bun, you're going to draw out a big U shape that looks like it's open towards the cinnamon bun. Now you could draw a shallow curved line starting just inside the left side of that U and coming all the way over to the right corner. So I want a small little space between the left edge and no space on the right edge and the top of this bowl. Now coming to that line, just behind you can draw a shallow line once again but facing the one you just made. So we've created something like an almond shape. Now come back to the front, your very first U, and start to wrap all the way around so that you've mirrored that little shallow line you just made. So we have a front of the bowl, the back of the bowl, and the inside. I'm gonna draw out a little spoon by just drawing out a straight line and coming back down towards that front edge of the bowl. And of course, I'm gonna give this guy a cute little face, one little open eye, and one little winking eye that's just a little sideways V, and a big happy smile. Because we're seeing our little bowl from the side, I'm gonna draw his arm right attached to the front of the body, and then just two little legs sticking out from underneath. I'm not gonna show the second arm because I'm going to imagine that it's a little bit behind him or tucked away. So we know it's icing, I'm gonna draw out some little splashes of icing by making some little teardrop shapes coming out of the bowl and then maybe a few around the top of the cinnamon bun so that we know that's her little bowl of icing. And then finally, I'm going to draw in one stalk of wheat just floating up above on the left side, drawing a curved line with a small loop on top and then coming just above the bottom of that line, I'm going to start to draw loops on each side, creating something like a heart and working all the way up to that top loop, one loop at a time. And it's okay if you're not always making a perfect heart shape, we just want it to look something like a stalk of wheat. When you're all done the loops, you can go ahead and add in some little lines in between each one, just to make it look nice and whimsical. It totally looks like they're jumping to me. So for the ground, I'm gonna draw out a line that's coming well beneath the bottom of their feet, all the way from one side of the page to the other. And there's our little cinnamon bun. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. If you loved this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So until next time for another Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook, keep making art and keep smiling.